I'm Jeremiah Reed, and this is Hero Quest RL. This is a game made in Pico 8, and honestly, I've never played a game in Pico 8, even though it's fascinating. I think it is a fantasy, like a fictional console, basically, uh, or a fictional computer. Well, maybe console is more accurate. Uh, so it has very limited constraints, limited colors, limited resolution, and it, the games that come out of it always look cool, or even just the screenshots. So we're going to start a new game with X. And there are four classes. BP, MP. I don't know what any of this does. Miss? Mysticism? <laughs> um, Barbarian is always an excellent choice. So let's do start. Huh. wonder what the... Back is. Hmm. Not sure what what these controls at the bottom mean exactly. I think. Oh, cool. The maze. Your final test. Find your way out. One hundred gold will go to whoever gets out first. All right. Sweet. Nice little sounds. Uh, oh, that's a wall. Hell's Teeth. What the hell? Okay, we have some sort of slot machine. Okay. So what, it looks like what we're doing is... We're rolling for to get attacks, and we're rolling to get shields. Two two skulls. So he needs like two shields, maybe. Okay. Hmm, that's weird how the monsters run up to me. What I don't even know what the symbol all the symbols are. There's a menu. Um, okay, I guess Z is back. That's what I've figured out. I guess Z because it's next to X. But that symbol looks like a square, so that was... I shouldn't have been expected to guess that, I don't think. Anyway, um, there's some stuff on this menu that we may want to look at. Like, we can search for traps, treasure, and secret doors. And... We have zero gold. I don't know if that's all we can do right now, but we got to remember that. Um, it's odd the monsters don't follow you. A little bit odd. This combat feels very random. What does Hell's Teeth mean? Die, infidel. <laughs> Hell's Teeth. Um, oh, BP is body points. That's a funny way to do HP. I mean, I guess it makes sense. All right. We only have 
three body points. What is this NVS? It goes from sits to zero, and then something happens whenever it gets down to zero. But I don't know what that is. What am I defending against? Oh, it's a trap. Oh, cool. Okay. Veneer. I'm kind of just dumb, dumbfounded here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm going to die soon, though. Curses. I have two body points. Um, that is a really... Some some very bizarre stuff going on. Maybe, I don't know if it's having to do with the Pico 8, like the limitations of it, or just the way the engine is coded. Uh, and normally in a roguelike I would be running away, but I don't know if that's really possible here. Oh, well, I killed the goblin. Well, now it's an orc. Thought they looked identical. They're both green. And I don't know, sometimes goblins are red. But these two were green. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can affect the combat in any, in any way because it kind of just looks like literally dice rolling. And like. Is there any strategy? That is... Oh, wow. I'm probably dead after this. I want to know what that one symbol is. There's another symbol besides flower, besides uh, skull and shield. It looks like a flower or something, maybe. Okay, I still have two body points, and I can wait. At least I know I can wait with Z. Okay. Um, I'm waiting. <laughs> I think this is the third game in the row to have this kind of weird uh, pathfinding, where the monsters just try to line up with you, but they don't go around corners. That's just kind of an odd coincidence. <clears throat> oh, blast. There's a wall there. I like the artwork. I mean, the artwork is great. Uh, what? <laughs> that is brilliant. Um, run time error line 116, tab 5, vets equals nh dot ets. Attempt to index global nh, a number value. nai line 116. That's, I mean, it's funny to me that I'm seeing the error output and I'm able to, like, maybe guess at what's happening, which is kind of funny. Um, can I type stuff? No, I can't type stuff. Uh, what if I just restart? Okay, we are back with Hero Quest RL. I had to restart the game. Uh, I actually didn't have to refresh the browser window. Pico 8 apparently has a built-in reset functionality, which I did not know. So... New game. 
Okay, well, the barbarian has a lot of body points, barbarian points. The dwarf has a good number, too. Uh, let's try the wizard. Can't be any worse than what we just did. Uh, what? Do we get all four? Oh, tell me we get all four. Okay. I was completely playing the game wrong before because I didn't realize I had to select multiple characters. Oh, brilliant. This is like a party roguelike. Um... This this feels like a board game I played recently. I don't know what it is, but actually, maybe it was Hero Quest something. So I'm just guessing this is based off an actual board game. This is really reminding me of one right now. I want to say it was called Hero Quest, and you moved around, each player moved around different characters, and it felt so much like this game. I think there were even dice, too, with the attack. Yeah, why didn't I think about this before? I have a bad memory, that's why. Um, okay, my warrior... No, wait, was that my warrior that died? Or an, a warrior? Bah! Damn your eyes. Yeah, as far as the combat, I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. Um, I'm attacking. And there's some rolls going on and some dodges. This game seems way better now that I have all four characters. But before, it didn't really tell me that I needed all four characters. These stairs? Damn my beard. Yeah, a dwarf would say that, right? These monsters are like hard to kill. Maybe it's just bad luck. It's probably bad luck. Of course this guy gets like four rolls, I don't understand why. Maybe because there's four of... Uh, no, that's probably dumb. Exit, you found the exit, but are you ready to leave? I don't know, am I? It's making me seem like... Like telling me I don't want to leave, so... Let's try to find something else. traps are funny. And the movement makes a lot more sense now. It was like I would move, then the, the enemies would move for like five turns. And that didn't... So there's like a... Okay, the MVS, that's probably movements. That's why it went from six to zero and then something weird happened. Oh god. The wizard falls into a pit? Yeah, and loses one body point. I remember in the board game I'm thinking of, there was a flanking mechanic. I don't know if that's in here. That was one of the only pieces of real strategy I remember. Oh, there was range combat too, and I'm not sure if I see the range combat in this game either. Okay, yeah. Damn my beard. 
These traps are no joke. And there's a lot of them, too. Uh, did someone die? All right, so I finally killed a monster there. You know, I'm just curious if there's anything else here. Um, is there any incentive for me to explore the whole floor, which is very slow going? Boop, boop. If I'm not fighting monsters, it's not that bad, but the, mo the combat with all the dice roll and everything, it's a little bit... It's a cool mechanic and everything, but it's also, you have to wade through a lot and just wait for stuff to happen. And you're not really making, it doesn't appear like you're making any decisions. So there's not a lot of interaction with the game. The only real interaction is your positioning. But I could be completely wrong because in my first playthrough, I didn't even know there were multiple characters. So this game could be a lot deeper than I think. Uh, exit. You found the exit, but are you ready to leave? Let's try leaving. Okay. Wonder if we got lucky with the spawn point being next to the entrance. Oh boy. All right, we're back at the title screen of Hero Quest RL. I've had two crashes now. I don't think it's a big deal because in 70 RLs and game jams, you're going to have bugs, you're going to have errors. And you have almost no time for playtesting. I know this very well. So I can't fault the developer too much. Things are going to happen. I got pretty far in each time. I, and I'd be curious if there's multiple levels or that's it, it's just the exit. Because I was almost, I almost got all my heroes to the end. But then I was left wondering, kind of, what, what's the point? But just to talk about the game for a minute, I believe this is an adaptation of a board game called Hero Quest. And I, the reason I couldn't put two and two together is because a few months ago I played a game called Arcadia Quest, which I think is inspired by or made by maybe the same people, maybe not, I don't, I don't know, but very similar from what I've read to Hero Quest. So this, this. Roguelike is an adaptation of HeroQuest, and I played a similar board game. And that's why it really felt like I like deja vu here. And in these board games, you're moving around four characters, or you're playing with multiple people that each move around a character. And you're rolling dice to determine the outcome of combat. And dice feels really great, right? Like, it's just such a staple of, of board games and, and sometimes video games. In this game, it's a little bit odd because... 
you know, if I had a criticism so far, it's just that there doesn't seem to be that much strategy. I haven't played for that long, and I'm going to keep playing, and I might find more that's going on that I didn't know about. As it stands, it seems like you just roll dice and just see what happens. Which is a cool mechanic. It is cool. It's cool. It's definitely, like, interesting to move around four different characters. And the characters all have unique personalities and scream different things. And they have different stats. So, there's a lot going into this game. There's a lot of different enemy types. And for my first Pico 8 game, I mean... It's so cool just to see how everything's working and, and the artwork. Pico 8 enforces a very unique style that's kind of recognizable across games. And I'm really digging the art here. <laughs> Alf bumps into a wall. So this is Hero Quest RL. Give it a shot if you want to play a party roguelike where you play four characters at once.